It's time to blow out the candles. Remember to make a wish, honey. That's my boy. Very good. Happy birthday, son. Did you see that, Dad? Man, they grow up fast. I bet you can remember my sixth birthday like it was yesterday. Mary, could you please clean up? Lucius can help you with the dishes. He can stay up later this evening to play with his new toys, but in bed no later than 10. Yes, ma'am. If I put the pieces together, this all started years back, with the arrival of a new life. Dante Manor was a place filled with darkness, and there were outward ambitions and hidden histories in that house. 
I tried to help. I should not have become so involved. But how these things unfold when we are thrust on the scene, I can't account for at all. For my part in these events, I waive responsibility. But it's there. It's a mark. A mark I should have noticed. At its source, at the center of it all, was the boy. Lucius, there you are, and here I am, finally, face to face. It's okay, you can trust me. You know who I am, don't you? I've come to speak to you about your calling, my boy. Each offering you bring me will make you big and mighty. It's a simple thing to do, Lucius. You can influence your future, and become a master over all. But oh, so much to do. So much ahead of you. I have some things for the birthday boy. There, on the desk. You'll need this notebook. It will help you on your journey. Excellent. And look, a flashlight. This will help you find your way around at night. Go ahead, pick up your new toys and see how they work. Such a bright boy. Now, Lucius, you need to do a little something. It is important that you are not caught. In the kitchen, you left the lock on the freezer door. You will need to get that bad lock, Lucius, and hide it where nobody can find it. Otherwise, they will discover you. And believe me, you wouldn't want that to happen. Go now, get the padlock, before the adults wake up. Detective McGuffin, what do we got here? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She was in her mid-fifties. Typical of women her age. Did you talk with the owner of the house? 
No, sir. They're waiting for you in the kitchen. How can something like this happen, Detective? Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of um, misadventure. I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, Detective. We'll try our best. Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <clears throat> <sighs> it's a private matter, and an unfortunate accident. The press will keep out of it. I've seen to that. I could always count on you, Jean. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Take all the time you need. You see, I'm performing a delicate operation here. Why don't you go downstairs and watch TV or something? Hello. Don't worry, Lucius. Mary is now in a much better place, along with her husband. Try not to bother your father today, dear. Jean is here, and they have business to take care of. I know he can be a bit odd, but be a sweetheart and be polite to Jean. He is a guest in our house after.
Ah, well, there you are, Lucius. Let me look at you. I believe you've grown since I last saw you. Oops. Well, accidents do happen. I'm sure it's all right. How are your lessons going? Have you seen my matches? What can I say, Mr. Wagner? This is a real unfortunate series of events. Quite uncanny. Gene was my campaign manager and a friend of the family for many years. I'll be lost without him. I know this must be a difficult time for you, but we really must do an investigation here. I'll need to speak to your handyman about the gas leak. This shouldn't have happened. I had a feeling there was something weird going on in that house. I couldn't quite yet put the pieces together, so I took a step back for a while, let it brew. And after a few weeks, the call came in. Just when things were getting back to normal, there had been another accident in that godforsaken house. It happened on a rainy day. I think it was Tuesday. The janitor, who was known to be quite the drinker, was fixing a bathroom in the Lower West Wing. Hello, Lucius. Here we are again. You've been doing very well, haven't you? My, you make me proud. But I must teach you some of the more, let us say, subtle arts which you can use. You can train your mind to move objects at your will. Here, let me show you how. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Now you know what to do, my son. You must continue with your mission and bring me souls. Be careful, but show no mercy.
There you are. Did you sleep well? I hate to tell you this, Mr. Wagner, but it seems your handyman was drunk as a skunk. He was an accident waiting to happen. I was going to fire him after the other incidents, but I just didn't have the heart. It's hard enough to keep the staff here with recent events. You can't blame yourself. This might be the worst case of professional neglect I've ever come across. While this might explain the gas leak, it still doesn't explain the death in the walk-in cooler. The autopsy on the mate is inconclusive, but we're still working on the theory she had a poor heart or circulation problems and fainted. 